What is up guys, we are back and I did a little uh, leveling for my team. Uh, got some people to like level 15, others like a little bit past level 10 and I changed up some classes as well. Um, you guys are gonna notice like a difference in how the battles are commencing now being that I took off like the, the animations because the animations I feel like is what's eating up all our time. So you guys know what everything really looks like. Um, at the end of the day, it's just, do I win these battles or not? <laughs> it's finally here. Let's move ahead with our plan. Leave it to me. Professor, are you in as well? Of course. We've narrowed down their objective. Kind of. So, let's show everyone that we can carry out our duties better than anyone. We're counting on you, Professor. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that uh -oh. said in jest, Flame. And in confidence, please nah, fam, just talking that shit. my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Of please course, of course. Us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. One thing it's I forgot time. to do is have um, someone from a different school assist us. All right. So now we'll be going Let's in with one less person, I believe. Go hide where we can watch over the entrance to the Holy Mausoleum. I wanted if to have a second healer. If anyone suspicious enters, we'll follow them in and take them down. Got it? All right, guys. So I'm going to try not to mess up this time with... Uh... <laughs> Wait. When... Oh, we got to win in 25 turns. As as wow. Suspected. I guess I can't play the, the slow game within. anymore. Those central church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. The enemy is after the casket of St. Seros. Do they intend to steal her bones? We must defeat those enemies before they open the casket. Well, how many enemies are there? Because I see hellas like around us. The ground. There are contraptions of some sort in place. Hmm. You'll have to look closely at the enemy's weapons and advance while attacking them from the best positions possible. I mean, okay. Trying to think. I really just want to see like what's the range of everybody. What should I do? I probably shouldn't move him Stay up there. Stay focused. Rusted axe. Okay. I'll cut through. Uh, we'll take this archer out. Oh, sword breaker. Okay, so he's gonna be good against sword wheelers. Um, we'll leave him there. I'm on it. Ready. Are there archers on this side? There's no archers. Uh, I can't remember if she's going to be bad against give it my all. mages or not. That's oh. why I'm kind of hesitant to move her too far up. Forgot to move this guy. Death Knight, prove your. I don't take commands or waste my time. A Death on Knight. Weaklings. That Knight looks like he has experience. It would be foolish to challenge him recklessly. So. Uh, wow. Yeah, you really 
I really went for my boy. Yikes. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I thought I was moving um, somebody else. Okay. Level 13. It's just... uh, he said it wouldn't be wise to... Attack that death knight, so... Uh, I think we'll just wait here and see what they do. If it's a bad move, I'll just end up doing Divine Pulse. This way. I don't know, I feel like I kind of have like a select group that like travels with each other. So. Okay, yeah, there's an archer over there, so. Oh no. My boy almost died over here. Uh, how far caution. back can you run? Look at that heal is at 20 now, so I guess like the higher you increase like a skill like the more you should get out of it as far as like magic uh, characters are concerned. kind of hoping she would have more range on her but it's fine my boy coming through oh he got a crit too on that is there even a chest in here ah yeah there is a chest right there i didn't realize how many extra enemies there were in here oh there's two chests look at that any more no okay i bet uh, i think that took out the archer Side, I just have our healer. Figure out what's in those chests. Uh, let's see. I guess it's good I have him going this way because he can unlock chests for free for us, I believe. Yeah, I kind of wanted to move him up further, but there's a mage up there, so I don't know how, how much I really want to move him up like that.
I'll cut through. Reinforcements haven't arrived? Hmm. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Okay, maybe that's why they're saying, like, kill everybody in, like, a set amount of steps. leveled up too. Oh, no, I feel like I need to keep her as close as possible to these guys. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just send, um, oh girl to like the other side. Cause I definitely just remember I can heal with my character. <laughs> Sixteen, yeah, we're we're avoiding you, bro. I had to make sure my guy had the chest key on him. <laughs> oh, level 17. Maybe I can take that I guy must out. Keep <laughs> aiming higher. Ah, there's the reinforcements. Spirit dust, okay. Um, what level are you? Level nine. Okay.
Ah, ok. Reassuring. Look at that, got another seal clutch. I think I forgot to heal with him. That was a nice catch. Okay, my guy just said like, fuck my regular sword. We're gonna use this one instead. Oh no, you dipped. He got away. We have no choice but to let them go for now. Professor, that the way that looks sword pretty is beast, glowing, though. I wonder. Ah, the Knights of Seraph to save the day. Oh, looks like you have this under control. You, round up any Pretty Captain, you late. Will do. Nine turns, okay. I could have lagged a bit. <laughs> but luckily enough, I had the cavalry, so we were able to move way farther, way faster, and he was messing everybody up. Yeah, max my boy out. We received the Sword of the Creator. Okay. I'll send something to the... Yeah, we're definitely going to send you. <laughs> the Sword of the Creator, Mysterious Blade, unleashes its true power in me. Uh, extending to reach distant enemies, the weapon's durability is restored by five each time he chooses to rest on his day off. Wow, okay. 
So if I ever feel like my weapon is running low, I can rest and get some durability back on it. At least I unlocked both chests too. I think uh, early on the playthrough, you guys saw me like As not open the chest, <laughs> even though that was like part of like the, the tutorial thing now was how to open up chests. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel, unlawful entry, the attempted assassination of the archbishop, an attack on the holy mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as a yeah, this for this definitely cult. still sounds like a cult. No, especially this, this music. This isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived. It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the goddess. Wait, please. The goddess would never forgive you for our execution. Monster, we know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. There you have it. It seems the assassination attempt and the attack on the Holy Mausoleum were all the work of the Western Church. As for the masked knight who led the attack, I'm afraid his whereabouts are yet unknown. It makes no sense that the Western Church would try such a thing. It just goes to show that the Church of Saros is not completely united. The Church is led by those here at Garrick Mach, and the Western Church doesn't have a strong voice on its governing council. I imagine the Western Church has harbored some resentment toward the Central Church for a while now. Ah, that's right. Gerald did say that you grew up outside the influence of the Church. The Church of Saros is split into a few branches across Fodlan. The largest being the Central Church, which is headquartered right here at Garrett Mach. The Western Church lies far to the west of Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato held his rebellion. It's situated on the far side of the kingdom's most impressive fortress, Arian Road. I imagine the Western Church's intention was to eliminate Lady Rhea and the Central Church's authority along with her. Naturally, the Knights will be riding out to question the Western Church's top officials. Or rather, to punish them. When they do, Your Highness, we will likely be asked to help carry out said punishment. Indeed. Now, I don't mean to be rude, Professor, but I must say your situation is rather unusual. For someone to grow up in Fodlan and yet never have any contact with the Church of Saros is... It's hard to believe. I wonder why the Archbishop would hire someone like that as a professor. So, those people from the Western Church were... Um, Lady Rhea had them killed, didn't she? Well, of course she did. Going against the teachings of Saros like that... Quite unforgivable. Those who stray second. must be punished, of I suppose. They did. That said, Professor, I... There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. Ah, oh, shit. Things are getting juicy. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the crest stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. Hmm. The crest more. stone for the sword. The professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the crest stone, the sword glowed red, 
The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Apparently not, bro. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As what is your name, bro? I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this stranger? Surely it is not she the sure sword does, bro. one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Voldlin would be consumed by war. Yeah, who the hell's Nemesis? Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the sword of the creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the king of liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sereth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? Cause she up to something. I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The sword of the creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh, goodness, what was her name? Ka... Ka... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Of course. This is what I've always intended to do. Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. Tower of Black Winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlin are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. 
This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlan that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. Mm, 4,000 from the church. Okay. I like that. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. This skirmish involves a holy relic, and is therefore more than a single noble is capable of resolving. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Oh, well, maybe he finally identified my crest. I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves Bro, in the I just territory. found out. How did you know? I'm sorry for dragging you into the kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages! Oh, that's it's the dude that's like a dad time. to him. Felix's pops. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, your highness. You've grown so much in those years. I hardly recognize you. This is Rob Reek, an old friend of my father's. I believe I've mentioned him, if you recall. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. Ha <laughs> ha! You flatter me, your highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son, Felix, has mentioned you on occasion. What brings you to the monastery, Roderick? Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Fraldarius territory, and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. I thank you for your help, both of you. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. 
that is what you possess. Ah, that makes sense. So Your my sword like to wield went on the sword fire of the shit. creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected. There can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. Well, that's good to know, guys. Thank you. Just trying to make sure there's no new cutscene. All right, cool. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to end off this episode here. Um, I'm about to go upgrade the hell out of these characters. Uh, I think I'll buy some new intermediate seals, too. I think... I think you get like three a month or something like that. That's how many you can buy. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And with that said, take it easy. Later.